scheduling and prioritizing are essential components of any business. Meetings, so the local distant, need to be scheduled, and everyone needs to be kept up to date on the details of the meeting. Reminders are also incredibly helpful. For larger businesses, Microsoft Outlook can handle all of these tasks. But if you're looking for a more cost-effective and universal solution, Google Calendar is a wonderful choice. Anyone with a Google account can access the calendar, so it's easy to schedule meetings without any additional software or effort required. When you first open Google Calendar, you'll land on the weekly view. This allows you to see at a glance which dates have appointments and when. To focus more in-depth on what's to do each day, especially if you're heavily scheduled, you can change your view to day, four days, or month. You can also create multiple calendars, all of which will display on your home screen if you so choose. So you can easily spot what type of events you have scheduled for a particular day based on color. You can share these calendars with anyone you like, whether that's company-wide or with only specific individuals. You can even publish a calendar, which means that anyone who uses Google Apps will be able to view it. To create an event, simply pick Create Event at the top left of the screen. You can title your event, give it a time and date, or choose all day, and specify when it will be repeating, if it will. Then you can fill in the finer details, such as which calendar it belongs on, where it takes place, and when you'd like reminders. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll be able to invite an email address. If you've shared a particular calendar with someone, they will be able to see all of your appointments without you inviting them unless you've marked one as private. Google Calendar also allows you to add events more quickly and analyzes your words to determine where to put them on the schedule through Quick Add. If you type in, for example, meeting on September 20th with Steve at 9, an appointment will appear in your default calendar color on that day at 9 a.m. entitled Meeting with Steve. You can always go back and fill in the details and actually invite Steve, but this is excellent for quickly filling in an appointment so you don't forget the basics later. It's easy to schedule meetings with Google Calendar, especially because you'll often view your coworkers' calendars alongside your own. You can automatically pick times in which everyone is free. You'll also be able to receive notifications on your mobile phone, and with a smartphone such as BlackBerry, Android, or iPhone, you'll also be able to modify and create events on the go. Google Calendar integrates well with Gmail, so if you've taken note of our previous video, you'll be able to combine the two. Whenever you're exchanging emails with someone and Google detects the meeting being discussed, it will automatically ask if you'd like to add the meeting to your calendar. This effectively removes the step and makes it even less likely that you'll forget to add a crucial event to your calendar. Google Calendar's Labs also give you a few ways to make your life a bit more convenient. These are accessed under Settings, then Labs. For example, if you've scheduled a meeting for a particular time or you're away for a day, you can automatically decline any invitations you receive for that time period. You can attach different Google Docs to events so everyone involved can prep before the meetings or create recurring events slightly so that the unusual ones that you're more likely to forget pop out and remind you a little bit better. There is even a smart rescheduler which helps you to schedule events around everyone else's schedule so you can more easily find the best times for everyone. Google Calendar is an effective, efficient way to schedule meetings and remind everyone involved about them. If you're using the Google Apps Suite, it's the perfect choice for your scheduling requirements.